Hey everyone, Mary Pat here, and today I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to make this really fun uh, mini card slash album uh, book, and it's uh, a really fun project. And so you, uh, I have uh, this uh, ribbon to open it up, and so you can see it looks just like a normal little mini album, but then here's the fun. It waterfalls out, and uh, so you have, um, it then folds out, and then you flip it over, and then you've got three more slots, and then you have the other side, and you pull that down, and you have then some more slots to um, decorate or for pictures, and then you turn it over, and then you have some more. Now the really fantastic thing about this little mini card album is that this whole part just uses one sheet of 12 by 12 paper. And that's the amazing thing about it. And it's so super easy to make. So let's get to it and show you what you need. The first thing you need is some sort of scoring board. I have this uh, Martha Stewart one. And you need one sheet of cardstock. So the first thing you're going to do is you need like a bone folder or something like that to, to score. And then what you're going to do is you're going to score your sheet at the 4-inch mark and then the 8-inch mark. Uh, so you'll make those two score lines going down. So again, you start at the 4 uh, and at the top and then you go all the way down keeping the paper as still as you can so that you get a nice straight line and then you go to the 8 inch mark and uh, then you go all the way down and you have that. Now you turn the paper one uh, counterclockwise uh, once and then you're going to score three lines the three at the three six and nine uh, inch mark so again you're going to use that bone folder or whatever you have and you start up at the top and you go to, from the three and then you go to the six and then you go down and you go to the nine inch mark now once you have that, you're going to, uh, and you're going to have your four uh, slots up at the top, and they're all three by four inches. So now you're going to need your paper trimmer, and um, I just have uh, this uh, Fiskars uh, paper trimmer. And so you want to make sure that your paper, when you're putting it in your paper trimmer, has the four uh, slots up at the top, the four uh, score lines uh, or the four boxes up at the top. Now what you're going to do is you're now going to cut at the three inch and the six inch and you want to make sure that you're starting right at the bottom and you're going to go up to that first score line. So you're taking uh, and going from the top and going up. Now if you don't have like a paper trimmer like uh, you can just cut it out on the score line. And so there's the three inch and then moving it over, you line it up to the 6 inch, and so that would be um, right there in the center, and again, you go all the way up. And um, on this one, I didn't go up all the way to the line, So, and if you, because if you don't, that's fine. You just get your little um, scissors out, and you just cut right up at that first score line uh, with that. Now, as you can see, you've got the two then fold outs. And then you're going to have this four uh, square part. And this is important because this part you want to cut away uh, with that. So again, in your paper trimmer, I'm just going to mark this off uh, so that you can see that this part you're cutting away and because uh, we do not need it um, to make the card. So again, you're putting your paper in and you're lining up and you're going from the bottom to the top and you're going to go straight up to that score line to cut that out. So you can see here I go all the way up and I because you don't want to go over so I just kind of did a little bit and I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to snip that out. So now your paper um, you have the two waterfalls on the left and then the top strip with the four blocks. So what you want to do now is you want to flip the paper over 
so that your waterfalls are now on the right side of your paper. And now it's time to fold. So you're going to start on the far right and you are going to take your paper and you're going to go up to that first uh, score line and you're going to fold it up and then you're going to fold it down towards you and uh, creasing that off. Now the second one you're going to fold behind and then you're going to fold down on that and so now you have your two um, waterfalls, one's on top and one's on the bottom. So you've got your four panels and this second panel, if we're now talking from left to right, this second panel, I put an X there because that's going to be where you are going to put your adhesive down. And you want to use a strong adhesive. I'm using the Xyron Mega Runner because it's really going to, uh, to stick. And as you can see, I'm putting a lot down because, again, you want this to stick because this is what's holding it together. Now, time to fold again. So you're going to fold the bottom card back, and then the next fold, kind of like an accordion fold, is going to go right on top there. So now you want to firmly press down and make sure that it's going to stick, and then you just simply close it up and just really pinch the edges and get that to be a nice uh, crease on there. And that's your mini album or your card or whatever, however you want to call it. So there's the first waterfall, and here's the second waterfall, and then here's the back. And then with all of this, the fun now, you know, that's the easy part. I, well, it's all easy, I think. Uh, but now you get into a lot of fun, and now you get your creativity juices flowing, and you get to decorate each panel that's on there. So here's a take another look at mine. And so you can see uh, I'm folding it up here, and uh, so you've got the top part, and I put a piece of pattern paper on there, and then I hid my uh, ribbon underneath there so that I have a nice closure. And uh, so you've got uh, the waterfall. I used stars. I used, um, I used some Project Life journaling cards. Um, and then I got to use all of my stamps that I have here. And uh, so you can kind of see all of them. So let's take a look at all of the stamps. I used a whole bunch. So I have um, this stamp set that I used. Um, and I use the stars, and uh, there I, I use the hay there, and uh, then I used uh, the uh, the wood grain heart, and here I use the just be you, and uh, then I used um, oh happy day on this. So you really get to use a whole bunch of your stamps, and you get to be as creative as uh, you want. And uh, I love doing projects where you can really get a lot of use out of your stamps. Thanks so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Bye.